Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Tom from Kurosol.com. Kurosol is where I do reviews, unboxing, and share my thoughts and opinions about shoes or accessories related to shoes or shoe creams. Check out my recent shoe cream video. So today we have a very special pair of slippers from Viberg. I had an eye on these products for a while but I couldn't pull the trigger. But one of my dearest friend from America actually sent this to me the other day. This was a gift for, I don't know, he just wanted to send me a gift. So he sent me these and they arrived today. And I'll do a quick unboxing video and show you guys all about the Vibrex slippers. Because the weather outside, I currently live in Korea. Although I'm moving to the UK in September, I'm currently in Korea and the weather, it's crazy. Monday it was very cold, uh, I was shivering, but starting from yesterday it got so hot and now it's 26 degrees to 29 degrees in, in the afternoon so I have to wear short sleeves and you know, some, I'll probably, I will probably wear the slippers more because now it's really hot and it's really suitable for the weather and I'll probably move away from the boots, I'll still post reviews about them However, I will move away from the boots and start wearing shoes and slippers or loafers more than before. Enough chit chat, I will go straight into the box unboxing and I'll show you what's inside. I received a thank you note probably my friend or could be the shop owner I'll have to double check with my friend this is really nice touch it says thank you enjoy the slippers so here we go this is the box for the Viberg slipper I'll take the post-it off it says Viberg here and show you, shows you what the spec of the shoes are. This is Viberg slipper with natural calf leather from Japan, Japanese tannery. I'll tell you more about the tannery in a bit. Um, and the, the, the size is 10.5. I am not sure if this will fit. I usually wear 11 for my service boots, but I've recently tried 11.5 for a Viberg service boots and they fit they do fit and are, I think the art support is better with you um, 11.5 I mean we'll see and I just I'll do the unboxing first there's a nice map of oh this is Vancouver so I think this is a map of Canada because this is made in, made in Canada. The care guide as always. Care guide. And it says Goodyear Walted Construction. Shows you how it's made for anyone who doesn't know how it's made. As always, Viberg will give me a shoe cream, I believe. I believe they always give you the neutral colored shoe cream. So let's see if this is the same. They have a Viberg chamois here. So you can use it to polish your shoes. And yes, I was correct. They do have shoe cream that is neutral colored lovely to dust bags I love shoes that comes with dust bags so that I can keep the shoes if I don't wear them for a while I can put them in a dust bag and pack it here we go here we go guys this these are Viberg natural Japanese calf slippers from 
the US. It came all the way from the US. Now, a lot of you will think this is ugly. I do agree. Do not worry. You're not the only one. I do think that these are ugly too, but I wanted to try them out. I do had a read a lot of good reviews about these. I wanted to try them out. So here we go because these were a gift from my friends. I just chose this because he said just choose anything. Uh, so I just chose this. So the cuff leather is from Japan, as it says on the name of the shoes. It's from Dainichi Tannery in Japan. I, I believe this is a 2020 summer and spring limited release, but they somehow are still in the store somewhere. So you can grab them if you want to. The last use is 2010 last. It's a bit different from other Viber shoes or boots. It's 2010. I believe that the sizing is quite awful with these. Some people have to go all the way down to two size down from their true to size. Some people just had to go one size down from their true to size. Some people have to go half a size from their true to size. This feels big. I'm afraid to put them on because this feels really big and I'm afraid it's gonna slip like just run around on my feet the sole is leather sole and it's attached with Goodyear construction as it says on the thing as you can see it's 360 degrees and it's stone melted I like stone melted shoes and these have unconstructed toes and heels so it's very very soft everywhere well it's not flexible it's very stiff as in sturdy somehow I expected these to bend like this but obviously they don't it's very very sturdy and these have channeled insoles and the color is tan I remember that these are tan so these the color will change as I wear them to a more darkening color like brown color I'll show you if the color actually changes as I wear them more and more. So I want to do another video after trying them on uh, to tell you more about sizing and how they're constructed. This was a quick unboxing video for these. Um, they do look ugly. You're not the only one I'm gonna tell you again. But I've seen some photos of people wearing these and some, some, some of the photos actually look great some didn't so <laughs> we shall see how they 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 look on my feet just by looking i don't see any quality issues as always the vibergs quality control is awesome the stitching looks very even all the way through and yeah it smells like leather so <laughs> this is true leather so Thank you for watching the quick unboxing video for these. I'll come back with the sizing video more precisely because I know that people want to know more about the sizing of Viberg slippers. So I'll come back with that video. Please check out my other videos that I've showed you about Viberg or any other videos that I reviewed. And go to my website, like my Instagram, and follow this page, subscribe to this page. As always, I'll come back with more videos. Thank you guys for watching.